All right, uh, welcome again to the workshop. Um, haven't done a video in a long time. It has some computer issues and so on. So uh, I'm here today making a video, and we're using what's called the Burgmaster. This is a turret drill press. So we're going to get six different drills, whatever, counter bores, taps, so on and so on. And it automatically indexes one to the other, one to the other. And uh, it's great for this kind of a job. Uh, I reconditioned it a little bit, did a few things to it. Cleaned it up, made this nice table for it, found the bottom piece in the junkyard and made the top. And um, I need to make the four holes in the top of that, like I did here. Let's see what... There it is. Four holes to hold the top one. The, the part that pushes against the that squashes the two o-rings together. All right, now the fixture here has a center piece in it that's lined up with this. This is center, and of course the edge here is center. So zero edge finder, zero, zero, and uh, I'm good to go. And that goes on there like that. Make sure it's all the way down. This slides back and forth. It's got a, um, a spring there to hold it up. And I just found this in the junk. And uh, put this little fixture on here, which is made up in a lathe and a mill. And what that does is the center piece there expands out and um, pushes the little fingers out. As you can see, let me see if I get it. Let me focus. Come on. Ah. All right. There. Anyway, the fingers press out against the sides, and then, of course, you got the four holes there, and it's hardened uh, so it doesn't wear out. And then that goes on the top like that. And then you take that uh, set the quarter twenty screw, and you tighten it down. Just just snug it so it doesn't come up. All right, now you start the drill press, and what happens? This is what happens. Watch when you come up. There's a stop back there. It kicks it to the next one. Isn't that cool? Look at that. All right, and we're coming up on the drill. Now I got a stop up here set, so you put a little oil on it, and you come down. And you drill your holes. I gotta hold it down. But I had my hand out of the way so you can see it. I'll get a close up of it in a minute. And go down to the stop. And go, now we're gonna go to the tap. There's a the tap. And you uh, take this out. Gonna knock a little bit. There you go. And now you tap it. Hopefully you don't break the tap. These back ones are the rough ones. Here we go. There you go. Now we're just counter board a little bit, counter sink it a little bit. Just a touch, get the burr off. Now you say, why don't you do that first? Well, I wanted to, but I couldn't get the, the heads off here to get it in sequence so that it was drill, chamfer, tap. Okay, that's done. Open it up, slide the clamp back, break it off. Just take a little file, just touch it, touch it up with a file, make sure there's no burr. And that's completed. There we okay, are. Uh, well, that's what I, uh, you know, we have a Burgermaster. That's what uh, people had years ago. They didn't have any other kind of a CNC or any of that nonsense. And, you know, for a lot less money than a, any kind of a CNC mill, you can have one of these things to do the job. Every bit as good as any CNC, maybe even better, because you, you're feeling the work. You're doing the work. So, um I've had experience with the CNC, believe it or not. I had bought a lathe, and just today, I sent it out to pasture because I just had enough of the nonsense. This goes wrong with it, that's wrong with it, this is wrong with it, that's wrong with it. I bought a good old Harnage Chucker, precision, super precision lathe. And believe me, that thing will do everything I want to do. It'll make the parts for this, it'll make the safety valve pieces. 
He'll do everything I need to do. And um, I'm anxious to get it tomorrow. I'll have it. And uh, we're going to hook it up with a bar feeder. And, uh, and I should be able to make my parts uh, for the safety valves, everything. No problem. So um, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And I'm going to get a video on that too. So um, be looking for that. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, I guess I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.